In today's video, we are opening one of the most massive Yu-Gi-Oh! collections I've ever bought. Gosh, that thing is way too heavy. Oh! What's up guys, we're back with another epic video and I may have injured myself picking up these boxes because one of these is full of, it seems like just straight up bulk because that was so heavy. But before we get into the actual collection, I have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this Jinzo from the tin. I don't know what's going on. It looks like maybe it's sun faded. Like, I don't know what the deal with this thing is, but it looks kind of cool. So all you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know how much we should pay for this collection. And um, is this the most massive collection I've ever opened? If not, let me know the one that was bigger. I'm gonna crack open these boxes boxes and just start pulling stuff out what the heck is this i've never seen this kind of packaging in my life but it's like messed up cardboard all right here we go we have a tin this appears to be i don't know if this is all bulk or what but this is the first part of the first box so there's a couple of massive boxes here we're just gonna run through these real quick it doesn't seem like any of this is like that great allure of darkness might be like a couple bucks we're gonna pull that out but this seems to be like more bulk let's see red eyes from actually from dark root legends is actually worth something so we'll pull that trade-ins probably not as commons but we can check them out turn of the dragon lord stuff like that i don't really know what to expect from this one we've had this one for a little bit but i've been backed up on collections i've been buying a lot of collections recently because a lot of people are selling their stuff right now because of you know prices going down and just the general economy needs you know money right now so it makes sense that people are selling let's see uh skill drain that thing is a little bit bent but it is a skill drain nebula dragons okay let's see if there's anything else i'm not gonna run through all these comments because this will be a really long video so i'm gonna probably save that stuff for later i'm gonna check it out off the video all right next 10 this one appears to be purely bulk we're probably not gonna really check it out too much let's see if there's anything it looks like ultra rare bulk yeah from like you know foil sets goes from the past two okay we've got another 10 we have what appears to be more bulk. Let's see if these sleeve cards are any good. We have Super Poly. It's a pretty good card. We'll pull that out. Radian might be worth something uh, in terms of, you know, the Kaijus. They're pretty decent. Super Poly again. Still a really crazy card. And uh, Vanity's Ruler. Let's see if there's anything in this one. Okay, more sleeve stuff. What is this? Okay, that's just... Something like that. Okay, this is probably more bulk, so we're just going to move past this. All right, we have some sealed stuff. We have an Egyptian God Deck Slifer. We have a Albat Strike, one of the best structure decks to come out in a while. We have a Obelisk the Tormentor, and then we have a Cyber Strike. Okay, so we got a few structure decks. Not too bad. There is an addition to the giveaway. Let's see what it is. All right, it buried in all this stuff. There is a... What is this from? Prog Leo, the... LOD2, I don't know what that is. I have no idea. And then we have a, ooh, a Gate Guardian BCCG. So the classic BCCG graded cards, but Gate Guardian's a pretty nice one. So that's also in the giveaway with the Jinza. So just don't forget to like the video, be subscribed, all that stuff. And then there was also a couple of sleeves that were sealed up that we can use. We got Pro Mat sleeves. I don't remember what these are called, but these look pretty nice as well. So we got three packs of sleeves, very nice. And then we have an Ojama King with a lowered name. That's actually pretty sick misprint. So Soul of Duelist, lowered name Ojama King. That's pretty sick. And then there's something in here. I don't know what this is. Let's see if I can figure it out. Wait, there's nothing in there. Okay, uh, confusing. That's weird. Uh, scammed. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Then we have, I think this is Speed Duel stuff. Yeah, Speed Duel from the uh, the last Speed Duel product. Not the newest one just like a week or two ago, but, uh, you know, the one before that. And then we have the Ravael from the deck, so more deck stuff. And the final item from the first box is a binder. Looks pretty worn, so this thing's been used quite a bit. Let's see what's inside. All right, so we're going to do this a little bit different style. We're going to go with this and the binder because I didn't prep ahead of time to actually get, like, the cards out or whatever. So we have a Boral Sword Dragon. There's an Apollosa at the top, Legendary Magician of Darks. And here's the good stuff. So we've been hitting, you know, bulk stuff and stuff like that. Here's where the goods are. So this card was actually really good. I think you got a reprint, though. Um, I wish my lighting was a little bit better in terms of, use, like, binder stuff. But here's the rest of what we got. There's some, some bulk from the every pack opening. There's our blue eyes. So <laughs> we got a little bit extra there. We got the Cyber Slash Harpy or whatever it's called. Also kind of hard to not hit my mic here, but doing what we can. Time Wizards of Tomorrow. Then we have Jinzo Lair, the Mayatin Ultimus. We've got the Trishulas, very nice, the new version. Chaotic Dragon, this thing got banned. Yeah, I remember that from, remember my epic ban video? We've got the IP Mascarenas. We've got our, so, oh, this, this mic is really just getting in the way. Oh, I just pinched the crap out of my finger. All right, we got Striker Dragons. Don't worry, I'm not struggling at all recording this. I just pinched my finger in half. We've got a Chaos Emperor Dragon, the Dragon of Armageddon. 
the Dragoonity Knight Romulus. Yeah, pretty nice. Uh, some some decent stuff so far. We really haven't seen anything that crazy. I guess the Chaos Emperor Dragons are worth about 50 each, 45, something like that. You know, there's been some decent stuff, but nothing huge yet. I don't know if we're going to see anything huge yet or not. I don't remember what's in here. Uh, Boiled Savage is still a great card. Uh, we've got ourselves some Unchained Abominations. The Mega Fleets. A bunch of play sets. Okay, here we broke the playset streak. Uh, we've got Lord of Red, Thunder Dragon Titan, waiting on those Thunder Dragons to come back. Colossus as well, speaking of those, the Greedy Venom Fusion Dragon. Blue Eyes Alternative Starving Venom is still insane. Um, what else? Teardrop. Make sure you guys let me know how much I should be paying for this. Let me know in the comments. Because I really don't have any idea yet. Uh, not not going to lie. Uh, Destiny Hero Dominance. Or is it Dominance? It's Dominance. Okay. We got Windows Seeker Rare. It's pretty cool. Not much old school so far. I guess Draco Sack's pretty cool. Silver, uh, Azure Eye Silver Dragon's cool. Mubeta Fafnir is decent. Dragoobalan was crazy until the reprint. That was actually this. This is good for the Blue Eyes deck, both of those. And then the uh, Anti-Human Intelligence, uh, never a good one, unfortunately. We have uh, Cross Sheep, App Cologne, and Construct. Is that it? No, it's not. Okay, we're getting into old school. Now we have Thousand Dragon Unlimited. Pretty cool. This one appears to be Reverse Secret, if you guys can see that. Yes, I'm not going to miss it, guys. It is Reverse Secret. Very nice. We got the XYZ uh, Cannon. We've got the totally awesome, really nice print of that. Guy of the Dragon Champion, not Reverse Secret. Very nice. Um, we've got Dark Paladins. Both of those, the DMG version. Pretty cool. We got some old school. Love to see it. The Dryden, anything else old school? Let's see. We still, by the way, have a whole other box, the really heavy one. So I don't know what to expect from that. Let's just keep going through here. Anything else crazy? Dystopia. Let me know if this is a good way to go through Binder Collect. I feel like this is better than the way we've done it previously because <laughs> it gets a little crazy the other way. So um, let's see if this will work a little better. So we have those. Just kind of going through it one at a time. So far, okay, this, after the old school, it's kind of slowed down. There's a window, nice. We've got the Azure Eye Silver Dragon Secrets are beautiful. I need to work on my lighting. My lighting should be a little better, so it's not like all over the cards. You guys know what I'm saying, but we'll do what we can. We've got the, ooh, yes, the playset of Magician of Black Cast. Still like a $2 card, which I think is ridiculous for how cool and iconic it is. It's just pretty easy to get. That's the problem. Red Dragon Archfiend said, okay, I thought it was a lower name. It's a little bit lower, but not really. Power Tool Dragons are actually pretty sick. They're like 20 bucks, I think, maybe. Something like that. But overall, I mean, I would say this binder is worth a little bit, but it's not too crazy yet. Who likes the Platinum Seeker Rare? Not going to lie, I love it. I think it looks really cool. Uh, the Sky Strikers, they're, you know, pretty popular for the most part. Got, ooh, the Dark Neos. Actually, these are worth like 17 bucks Unlimited in near mint, which is insane. Like, just a regular Seeker Rare from Legendary Collection GX Unlimited is very expensive. But Dark Neos is a cool card. Then we have... What else? What else we got? Electromite. I remember when this card specifically, well, the the set version of it was like 80 bucks. It was insane. I pulled one. I was like, let's go. All right. Whoa, what is this? We got Majestic. Nice. Uh, those are both limited edition. Okay. Those are all from the tins. Then we got the Stardust and the Drag Meteor. Nice. And that might be it. One more page. Okay. So uh, we are about done with that binder. We're on to the next box. Let's see what's inside. All right. We're on to the second box. Let's see what's inside. It was way heavier. So we're going to see. How were there this many binders? I was wrong. This was not all bulk. This is a stack of binders that was in that box. Here is all the binders. That's a lot of stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you guys the highlights because going through all of these would be like a two hour video or something. It's going to be insane. So I'm just going to go through, show you guys some of the good stuff that we got. But before we get into all of this, I actually found a note at the very bottom of the second box. So interesting place to put it, but we found it. We have, hey, Ruxin, I appreciate you taking a look at my collection. I've been collecting for roughly three years and you were the reason I got back into Yu-Gi-Oh. That's awesome. I remember watching you in the good old days when you had 1000 subs, the good old days. Yeah, exactly. I felt as if it was only a storybook ending to be able to get a chance to buy what you created by sharing your content thanks ruxin keep the daily streak of videos alive that's what we're trying to do right now i'm trying to record ahead because i'm going to be gone thanks brandon all right brandon you sent me a lot more than i was expecting so let's just see what's in here he's collected this over the last three years which is insane all right before we hop into those there is a couple of deck boxes which will be easier to kind of run through so let's see what these are we have the amazement attraction stuff uh amazement attraction the time tick is this a deck actually the amazement attraction set or is it just all the amazement attractions like core or whatever 
Uh, this, oh, it's got some other stuff. Red Eyes Fusion, Dark Magician, Circle, Magical Circle, Effect Veiler, of uh, Magician Souls, very nice. The original one, it's been $147 on these a while back. Not very smart. We've got the Ash Blossom, we got the Magician's Rod, and then we got some, yeah, Magician stuff and Skill Drink. Very nice. This looks like an amazing attraction core and a Dark Magician core. All right, we got Red Eyes, ooh, from the Yap. Very nice. Okay, Prohibition, Solemn Judgment. Uh, Dark Magicians, that's also, that's, no, not Yap, Jump. I always get that one confused because it kind of is similar artwork. Uh, Ash Blossom, Soul Servants, Black Lizard Soldier. There's a receipt in there. Okay, interesting. Celine, actually a pretty nice card. Ooh, an Access Code Talker, very good. IPs, and uh, Red Eyes Flare Metal, and Red Eyes Dark Dragoons. Very nice little couple decks there. Not like, I don't know if those are full decks, but they're definitely cores. Then we have what appears to be another deck, which is pretty cool. Let's split these in half so I can just get through them. We have the Ghost Bell. What's this actual deck? You know, here are the hand traps. We got that D barrier, Ugh, the worst. Helantia, Cosmic. Okay, here's our stuff. Oh, is this Blue Eyes? No, invo is it invoked? Blue Eyes? What is going on here? Crystal Beast, Coral. Okay, it might just be random stuff with the Zeus. Oh, Secret Rare, beautiful. We've got some of them. Oh, an e telly ulti. Okay, that's a big card. Uh, Ash Blossoms and a beer. So we hit like almost only hand traps there. It was interesting. Uh, Nyan. Oh, is it Virtual World? And then, oh, wow. The, that one looks so good. The, the game promo. Infinite Impermanences. Cosmic Cycle. Yeah, Virtual World, it seems to be. Very cool. I've never actually played this deck, so we have it all con constructed. I might just keep it like this. So if I ever want to play it, I could play it. Maybe we'll place that ulti with another cheaper version, but we'll see. And then, uh, okay, we get the Chuchi. Pretty cool to like actually buy full decks because like, you know, me, I don't really build a lot of decks because I just don't have time, don't know that much about it. So if you get like a full deck, you can just go play it and just have fun. All right, then we have a couple mini binders. I don't know if there's anything in here. Whoa, <laughs> there is indeed. There's a Starlight. Okay, that's something. Oh, I don't, these are weird. They're sideways. What is going, wait, is that the only card in here? The only card, it gets its own binder. I mean, it makes sense. It's a good card, but, oh no, there's a couple other cards. We've got the, oh, Dark Arm Dragon, the Crystal Clear Wing Synchro, Solemn Judgment Gores. We've got, oh, an Odin. Let's go, an Odin Unlimited, Neturia Barkeon. We've got the Mo Malakota, the first one I ever pulled, and then Herald of Perfection. And then a Black Rose Dragon. Wow, look at that. Black Rose and Majestic Red, so pretty insane little binder there there's one more honestly this might be this might be enough for like the video we've got the ultimate rare it really picked up here at the end ultimate rare ced ultimate rare droll unlock ultimate rare levy in here maybe this is what we just go through because honestly the rest of the stuff looked like mostly like lower end stuff there was a few like blue eyes and limited reprints and stuff like that but I think this is the big stuff. We have the Dark Magician, Sephira, Queen of Dragons. Very nice. These are all ultis, which is sick. Doom cards are Dragon, the Fright for Bear, Multiple Piece Golem. We have ourselves the Utopia, the Draco Knight, Aquist Unlimited. I don't know if I have that for my binder. Um, Latinum, the Brain Jacker, A Disposal Team. Okay, a bunch of good stuff. Dark Lucius, Phantom Knight, Raflesia, Seduction. Nice Soul the Duelist card. The Blue Eyes White Dragon. We've seen him in the $1,000 purchase. He hasn't done so well for us. Then we have a Gandiva, Unicorn, Electro, Leo Arm Scramble Scramble, Chthonia Alliance. We've got the Piercing More. Anything really cool in here? Let's see. Let's let's look for some cool ones. Quick Booster, Dark Knight, Parshath. Monster Incarnation is really cool. That's a really really nice ulti bubble shuffle looks cool as well too so i like that um the goblin out of the frying pan very nice it's like that chapter in the hobbit out of the frying pan into the fire all right dd trap hole karma cuts a sick one just because of like the dual link stuff i know you guys i know i talk about dual links too much but i just like it crush card very cool ring of destruction that's cool that those are next to each other uh chivalry chthonian blast spirit barrier we've got what is this why one two three what's going on there I don't, I don't know what that is eliminating the league pretty cool go yo oh that's sick uh what else we got exa stag wonder wand some really nice stuff here really really cool ultimate rare binder so far we've got a ghost rare binder and an ultimate rare binder the ojama king let's go Le Ooh, leviathan dragon one of my favorites as you guys know galling dragon that's a really expensive card in, in near man i think it's like 130 um we got the sasuke samurai we got something coming out of the binder over here what is it we're losing a card. It is a Photon Veil. We can, then we've got the Red Dragon Archfiend Assault Mode Unlimited. Beautiful. I might need that one, actually. 
And then the last page, I don't know where this fell out from. What in the world? Uh, Odd Eyes Vortex, you know, Dark Rebellion XCs, some really cool stuff. I don't know where this came from, but it fell out somewhere. Okay, I think that's honestly pretty good for showing you. I showed you guys there's a lot of binders, but, you know, uh, if I find anything really cool, I'll put a quick clip of it in there. But I think that that, for the most part, is all you need to see. But it's going to be hard for you guys to guess what to pay because you haven't seen everything. But do your best. Just see, you know, at guesstimate that those, there was some decent cards in there, but nothing over like 100 bucks, I would say, in those you know, binders. So once again, Brandon, thanks again for sending this collection. I'm going to try and get through all this and, you know, get back to you with how much we're going to buy this for because it's a lot. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content. I'll be buying more collections. I don't buy all of them because I just don't have that much money or time. Time is another thing with the collections because you got to go through and price them, you know, resell them because like if I don't resell them, then I can't afford the other collections, you know, stuff like that. So I do my best to buy as many collections as I can, but you know, it's just hard. Shout out to Toe Info Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, JT Cho, TCG Trusted Cards, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, Melancholy, Ananas High Show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, John Nolan, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Stanley, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.